What's tea, sugar? You are now listening to the Cosmic Drag Podcast with Rashina, the homegirl healer, your source for the trillest cosmic life coaching and encouragement for black women straight from the universe. Get ready for some real spilling and real healing. Hey, homegirls, it's your girl Rashina, the homegirl healer, and this is the Cosmic Drag, honey. We finna pull these cards and let the universe drag us for filth and for healing at the same damn time. So you better secure them three little pieces of edges you got left, girl, before they get cosmically snatched, and let's get into it. So hello, everybody. Welcome to a new episode of the Cosmic Drag podcast i'm so excited to be in the building kicking it with you today i'm so excited to be connecting with the universe and the cosmos and the ethers with you in the mix today okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it so the deck that i'm going to be using today is actually an og triple og deck in my collection it was one of the first decks that i ever got when i was getting my feet wet and it's one that i love then and one that i love now so i'm really happy and excited to introduce the secret language of color deck by Ina Seagal. So I'm so, like I said, let's jump right on into this deck and see what interesting and cool and beautiful um, cards we're going to pull out today. Let's get into it. I really like this deck and I think this deck is a really different and fresh perspective on how to read Oracle cards. So let's get into it. Okay, let's pull them cards, child. What the fuck? Let's see what's popping. Okay, so the first card we got, ooh, lilac. Strengthen your faith. Yes, lilac is such a beautiful color. And spring is springing where I live. So I've seen a good amount of lilac over the last few days popping up. So that's really exciting for it to come up in this reading, child. Okay, card two. Brown, establish boundaries. Yes, establishing boundaries. Yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. And the third card is coral. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. Yes, I think we all can use more of it, child. So, okay, let's go on and jump right into the cosmic read. So the first card we got popping is lilac. And as you might imagine, the imagery on this card is a bunch of lilacs and they are so pretty and so beautiful and so strong i actually really really do love lilacs i love seeing them and so this card the message of this card is strengthen your faith so first of all man shit is hitting all kinds of the fan in the world today so with everything going on and with all that we've been through as a society as a people especially over the last couple of years it could be really really easy for our faith to be like all right girl i'm piecing your ass out or for us to piece our faith out but this card is a reminder of the beauty of holding on to our faith that something better is going to be coming along. So let's visualize that lilac around us, reminding us that beautiful things are coming our way if we just hold on to our faith. OK, OK, so. The second card, brown, establish boundaries. So this card, you see a bunch of brown dirt and there is a beautiful green bloom coming from the ground and so what i really really love about this card and the fact that it's using the earth energy to describe establishing boundaries this is a really great opportunity for us to get rooted and to get grounded in our boundaries it can be very easy for us to kind of we might think about boundaries in our head but then different people different situations different things happening and it'll kind of loosen up the foundation of our boundaries but this is a reminder to not only tell you to dig into your boundaries but to create a great and solid foundation for yourself that can hold them boundaries literally are everybody's birthright child including yours so enforce the boundaries that you need to enforce get rooted and get grounded in your truth and what you need okay all right so the third card popping coral allow synchronicity and flow into your life so on this card it is a very 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 beautiful shade of coral if you know anything about me and my household child we love color up in here so this is such a beautiful card and such an appropriate card it's literally a close shot of coral natural coral that you might see 
maybe in the sea or somewhere where there's aquatic life and there's coral growing. But I think that, number one, I think it's so important that we're diving into the imagery of flow and synchronicity and they're using coral. Because when we think about coral, we know that coral is growing, you know, in the water or where there is water. And so it's all about getting into the flow of life. Water don't got to fight. It's not near another bitch. Water don't have to fight nobody. Water is going to stick to its path and cut through or water is going to go around and get to where it needs to go. Water does not have to fight and neither do you. Okay, so let's get into the flow and the synchronicity that comes from this beautiful color of coral in this deck. Okay, so now we done got through these cards, child. We know what we're working with. So let's get into this cosmic drag because I really want to talk about how easy it is for us to believe that we're never going to get through whatever it is that we're going through. It's always so easy for us to expect the worst of things. I'm out here preaching to the choir. I am the kettle meeting the pot because I am definitely a person who is always expecting the worst and thinking about the worst and preparing for the worst. And the thing about it is that it is such a wear out child. It's really old and played out and it's really tiring. And so like the question that I'm going to ask you is the same question that I'm asking myself right now. Aren't you tired of drawing in that fucked up energy because you keep letting your faith just go and you letting it rot and you letting it die and when we're talking about faith we are not talking about religion no shade to the religious girls honey I am not one but I respect your right to do you and I'm going to do me regardless but we're not talking about religious you know like We are talking about faith in yourself, faith that you will know how to find a window when the door just ain't going to do. The door is just not hitting it. It's just not apparent, honey. You always going to find a window. And so when we're talking about faith, we are talking about that level of belief. We're talking about your faith and your higher self and your inner knowing, you know, your inner knowing and your understanding and belief that you have a divine map that you are using to traverse this journey of life, child. So I really want you to lean into it. Again, we're also talking about faith. Even let's take it back from faith in ourselves. Let's talk about faith in our ancestors, in the universe, in mother, father, God of creation, spirit, angels, ascended masters, you know, like nature, whatever you believe in, whatever feels right and feels connected to you in terms of your how you connect to spirit trust and believe in spirit to be your cosmic compass to keep you moving in your divinely assigned direction regardless of what's going on okay some of us are so disconnected from our true divine personal faith and it reflects in our choices in our relationships in our decisions it's reflected in our lack of boundaries child and i want you to ask yourself again as i'm asking myself How many times have you relaxed your boundaries for people who it wasn't safe for you to relax your boundaries with on any level? Trying to be the good person, trying to, you know, make fetch happen in a relationship, not just romantic, but all kinds of relationships that don't work, but you're unsure about walking away from it. You're scared about walking away from a child. We done relaxed our boundaries so many times. It is not even funny. And that's why I really, really appreciated the imagery of the earth on that um, established boundaries card because we need to get rooted and we need to be firm and we need to know that it's okay to say no when we mean no. It's okay to say, hey, I'm not a hugger. Don't hug me. It's okay to establish our boundaries and make sure that we enforce them so that the people who want to engage with us have no choice but to respect them, you know, because our boundaries are our protection. You are not required to break down your boundaries, especially especially if it's to your detriment. Because like I said, the people who love us, they respect our boundaries. So don't play yourself or your boundaries for those who don't, child. It's a waste of time. It's raggly, okay? We ain't with that. And so this is really about allowing our boundaries to be our divine protection. And when we allow our boundaries to be our divine protection, It allows us to, it prepares us and puts us in position to enforce those boundaries in our physical life, okay? Because before things happen in the physical, they definitely out here happening in spirit, happening in the cosmos. Before you manifest the thing, it's manifesting somewhere special in the universe just waiting for you to bring it through, okay? So remember to honor your boundaries, okay? Honor your boundaries because if you don't, who will? People going to play you because you're playing yourself. 
invite synchronicity and going with the flow into your life and release resistance. And I'm going to say that again, because that is a major key alert right there. I don't know if y'all picked up what I'm just put down, but I'm picking it up because I need that shit for myself. And I'm sure you do too. But resistance, release resistance, release resistance, release resistance. Because resistance to shifting, resistance to growth, resistance to letting go of the shit you no longer need, all of that shit is a hindrance to you. It is not allowing you to open yourself up to the blessings and the things that you want. Last week's episode, we talked about the bounty on the table before us. So if you haven't gotten into that episode, honey, once you're done with this one, get into it. Great messages and great gems drop there. But anywho, like we talked about the bounty before us on the table in that episode. And so when you are holding on to things that you don't need because you are resistant to the change, you are resistant to the growth, you're not going to get what you want and you're going to be holding on and stuck with shit that you don't really need. Your resistance is going to whoop your abundances ass every single motherfucking time. It's not a game. Again, in case you didn't get it the first time. And also I need a reminder too, your resistance is going to whoop your abundances ass every single time, baby, without fail. Don't play yourself. So I want you to get your ass out the way. Quit self-sabotaging and get your ass in flow and in sync with the movement of life, okay? Tony Braxton, the living legend, then told y'all asses back in 96, what? To just let it go, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Because Everything's going to work out right, you know. I wish I could hit that note like she can, but baby, again, I'm not about to play me or you by screeching and squealing into the microphone. <laughs> okay, let's get into let's get into this. Let me hype you up real quick cuz I want you to know that you literally have everything you need to create the life that you want. So tap in. You have a right to exist safely in this world. You are worthy of love and respect. You have a voice that's worth hearing because you are a powerhouse. You are intuitive, so tune in. You are free, so allow yourself to flow. The universe is literally always working on your behalf because you deserve a life of abundance and ease. You are in sync with your mission and your purpose. You got the juice, the keys, the range, and the drip. I believe in you and so does your spiritual team. So do the damn thing. Whatever it is that you want to do, do it. But remember to hold on to your faith, to hold on to your boundaries and to allow the flow of life to move with you. Okay. Okay. Ooh, child. That was a read. So now let's get to one of my favorite parts. Not because it's the end, but because it's the gem that keeps on giving. I hope you come back and listen to this podcast and get this bit of it whenever you just need to pick me up and a reminder of how amazing and beautiful you are. So let's get into this cosmic drip. And the cosmic drip for this week is I live a full, bold, colorful life of abundance and ease. I live a full, bold, colorful life of abundance and ease. I live a full, bold, colorful life of abundance and ease. Yes, honey, that kind of life feels good to me. Okay. All right. So before we get up out of here, let me remind you that your girl is going live on the social media's child Thursday evenings, 8 ish p.m. We got Trill Spill Thursdays live on IG, on YT, on FB, and on Twitch. So get into it. Go ahead and make sure you follow me on TikTok at the Homegirl Healer. Help me get to a thousand followers so I can go live on that bitch as well and kick it and kiki with y'all there. Also, Reiki classes are popping. I have Reiki classes on a schedule and I'm going to be adding some more to close out the rest of the year. So make sure you holler at my schedule and get on it so we can get this Reiki propping. Make sure that you also go to my website if you are interested in booking your one-on-one intuitive coaching or Reiki session with me. I have some other fun things that are coming up soon, which I can't wait to announce and share with you. So make sure you follow my social media so you know what time 
is you know that the website is thehomegirlhealer.com. You already know I'm on Instagram at the homegirl healer and on YouTube as homegirl healer and on TikTok at the homegirl healer. So holler at me and follow me there and make sure if you come across any amazing decks by black creators, readers, make sure you send them my way so I could check it out. And if it's a good, positive, energetic match for me, honey, I will be reading y'all asses on this podcast with it as well as in an intuitive coaching session. So with that, I'm sending you forward in light. I'm sending you forward in love. And I'm sending you forward in cosmic awesomeness. Have an amazing day, night, evening, or weekend. Peace, y'all. Thank you for listening to The Cosmic Drag with the Homegirl Healer. Follow the podcast so you don't miss an episode and connect with the Homegirl Healer on social media so you always know what time it is. Kick it with Rashina at the Homegirl Healer on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube and share this podcast with anyone you know who could use a good dragon from the universe.